What is up you guys? It's Susan Wyatt here with Clever Music and Amanda Seals hosted the 20th annual BET Awards on Sunday night, which was a virtual event due to the current state of the world. The theme of Sunday night's show was Our Culture Can't Be Cancelled. This year, the show had an increased focus on the Black Lives Matter movement in the aftermath of the death of George Floyd. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight that aired prior to the show, Amanda Seals explained the significance of this year's show in particular, saying, quote, It's not just the 20th anniversary of the awards, it's the 40th anniversary of BET. We're going to break down some of the biggest moments of the show for you guys, starting with the big winners. Drake had six nominations and ended up winning Best Collaboration for his hit with Chris Brown, No Guidance. Chris Brown also won the Best Male R&B Pop Artist category. To celebrate his big win, Drake took to his Instagram story and shared this screen grab from the music video along with the dancing and trophy emoji. Megan Thee Stallion and Roddy Rich each had five nominations. Megan took the crown for the Coca-Cola Viewers' Choice Award for her hit Hot Girl Summer featuring Nicki Minaj and Ty Dolla Sign, as well as Best Female Hip Hop Artist. Megan shared this image on Instagram writing, Nicki Minaj, Ty Dolla Sign, we won. Hotties, we won two awards. Roddy Rich won Album of the Year for his album, Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial, as well as Best New Artist. The Best Actor category winner was Michael B. Jordan and Best Actress went to none other than the incredible Issa Rae. Video of the Year went to DJ Khaled featuring Nipsey Hussle and John Legend for their song Higher, and Lizzo won the award for Best Female R&B Pop Artist. She took to Instagram to share her acceptance speech. Lizzo captioned the video saying, I don't believe in being the best of in a category of superior talent. I only believe in being the best me. Thank you BET Awards for including my story in your celebration of our culture. I am beyond humbled and can't wait to drop more of my genre flipping feel good music lol. Trust me, it's on the way. DaBaby won the best male hip hop artist category and Migos took the crown for best group. And it was a big night for Beyonce as well, as Queen Bee was a winner before the show even started. It was previously announced that she would be a recipient of this year's prestigious Humanitarian Award. The award was announced by former First Lady Michelle Obama, who praised Beyonce for her passionate activism. Beyonce accepted her speech by dedicating the award to those who are fighting for change. She also encouraged viewers to vote to end racial injustice. Thank you so much for this beautiful honor. I want to dedicate this award to all of my brothers out there, all of my sisters out there inspiring me, marching and fighting for change. She continued to say, quote, Your voices are being heard and you're proving to our ancestors that their struggles were not in vain. Now we have one more thing we need to do to walk in our true power, and that is to vote. I'm encouraging you to continue to take action, continue to change and dismantle the racist and unequal system. We have to vote like our life depends on it because it does. Beyonce also won the BET Her Award for her song Brown Skin Girl featuring Blue Ivy, Wizkid and St. John. To see the full list of winners from the big show, click the link down in our description box. Along with her big wins, Beyonce took to Instagram to share an open letter to senators calling for the passing of the HEROES Act, which would help provide funding to ensure votes are protected this election cycle. The letter was written by Beyonce's mum, Tina Knowles, and signed by many women in the entertainment industry, including Tiffany Haddish and Regina King. And Beyonce also shared that she is releasing a new visual album, Black is King, which is inspired by The Lion King and will drop on Disney Plus next month. The visual album is written, directed and executive produced by Beyonce and will premiere on the streaming platform on July 31st. Along with the big winners of the night came some big performances, including Da Baby, who reenacted the tragic death of George Floyd during his powerful performance of Rockstar featuring Roddy Rich. Da Baby is seen laying on the sidewalk while an actor portraying a police officer had his knee pressed on the rapper's neck. Little Wayne performed his hit song Kobe Bryant in a tribute to the late basketball player. The rapper included new lyrics to the song that included, quote, This is black power status. Two fingers for the Mamba Sita. I'm screaming Black Mamba Matters. The rapper ended the tribute with, quote, Rest in power, let's hope for peace, Black Lives Matter, facts. These new lyrics came as a surprise to many people, as Lil Wayne has openly shared his criticism for the Black Lives Matter movement in the past. Along with winning two awards, Megan Thee Stallion also took the virtual stage and performed the Savage remix along with Girls in the Hood, where she performed in the desert with her dancers. And Chloe and Halle blew us away with not one, but two performances. 
The iconic sister duo opened their set with a debut performance of Forgive Me in which they are both wearing matching black latex outfits and showing off their incredible vocals. With the blink of an eye, the duo were performing their song Do It in entirely new matching white outfits. Of course, there were plenty of amazing performances during this year's BET Awards, so we've linked all the performances down below if you want to check them out for yourself. I don't know about you guys, but these performances blew me away. But right now, I want to turn it over to you. Let me know your favorite part of the show right here in the comment section below. And after that, click right over here to see why fans think that Chloe and Halle might be collaborating with Nicki Minaj. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.